Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be continuing on with this thing right here, which is our steam locomotive. Now, as I said in the previous video, we probably want to add a bit of a, uh, a boiler cover to this, but uh, I'm not entirely sure we're going to be able to do that today. Uh, we're going to try and figure out how to use the steam a little bit more effectively, and I've had a comment recently that somewhat helps us out with that. So, let's go ahead and uh, show you guys what the, uh, the problem is, and uh, see if we can actually fix it today. Let's get on with it. Okay, so one of the things that I said in the previous video was what if we can actually reuse the steam that comes out of the piston, uh, and then actually put it straight back into the same piston. Uh, well, somebody mentioned that maybe we could actually take the uh, steam out on one side, send it into the other side, and then send it from the other side into the coolant. And honestly, I think that makes sense. So what we're going to have to do is delete one side of every part of this, uh, rebuild it on the other side so that it all um, works a little bit better, uh, and do it for literally every single one of them. I think this is a good idea, so this is what we're going to try. We're going to delete all of them on this side, and uh, have all of the steam on this side go into this side, and hopefully that'll work. So, let's go ahead and get on with it. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and figure out what's even going on here. So, right here is the steam out, okay? So, we essentially want that pipe coming straight across the top, uh, deleting this bit, this bit, and this bit, and having it go straight into the bottom. Uh, we're going to delete all of this, there you go. We're going to delete the, uh, the valve right there, we're going to delete these guys. And delete it all the way backwards, including all of the extra stuff that I put in last time, uh, in order for this to actually work. This bit right here is just going to be a corner piece that allows this side to work fully, which is excellent. So the steam comes in this side, goes into the boiler right here, or the, um, the piston right here. Then the steam out comes round, goes into the, uh, the piston down here, which we need to add this to. Uh, and hopefully this will work. I think it will, to be honest. So we're going to grab one of these. There we go. Go ahead and have it go backwards. Then have it turn, and then go down. And straight into there. There we go. So essentially what this allows us to do is have the steam come straight out of here. Uh, the steam that's left over, that is. Go straight into this one. And then straight into there. Then it's going to obviously go straight up from here. Like so. It's going to go backwards. It's going to turn the corner. And it's going to get pumped back into the boilers eventually. So all of that makes sense. We essentially just have to do this on every single one of these. So I'm going to quickly do that. And then I'll be back with you guys, and we'll see what kind of gains we get from this. Alright, so I hopefully have actually done this on all sides, which is excellent. Uh, with that being said, I'm not entirely sure I've got it all right, but I think so. So essentially, the steam comes into this one, obviously. It gets pumped in from the boiler. Then from this piston, it gets sent all the way across to the other piston, where we have a steam in. And then from there, it goes back, it goes through the condensers, back all the way through into the water pipes, and then back into the boiler again. Uh, it does the same thing on this side, it does the same thing on this one, and that is all we need. So, let's go ahead and spawn this in and see if it's made a difference. The max speed we got up to last time was actually 30, I believe. Uh, let's see if we can beat that by even like 1 meter per second. That would be great. Anyway, we're just going to wait for it to get to 8 uh, bars of pressure, and then we're going to go ahead and get going. Okie dokie, there we go. So that is actually letting off pressure, but it isn't letting off enough pressure, so we are actually going to have to send it. So there we go. We might get some wheel slip to begin with, but honestly, this game doesn't really care about that, so we are actually... We have traction. This is good. Uh, right, we're going to go straight out of here. We are currently going 21, 22, uh, and we're going to see how this actually ends up working. As you guys can see right here, the pressure isn't actually releasing all that much. Uh, it is on the front one, but it isn't on the rear. So that should help us in the run to uh, increase our speed. Because if the pressure stays high, then obviously the, uh, the pump will keep working. And we should be able to increase our speed past 30. Let's see if this works. Uh, no, we're at about 31. We're about the same that we were before. But obviously we got less pumps and stuff, so I guess that makes more sense. Um, that's good. Okay, with that being said though, we do actually need to figure out what's going wrong with the front one. So let's have a little look at that and see what we've got. Whoa! I've fallen off. I've fallen off the train. It's actually quite hard to get back onto this now because it's so fast. Uh, oh, oh, oh. All right, there we go. We're attached. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Hang on. There we go. We're back on board. Okay, excellent. So 
let's have a look at this. So there is actually steam in there. Um, but what's the problem with it? So the pressure keeps going down. The coolant keeps coming in. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Why is there such a problem here? Is this pump working? Yeah, it's on. So that pump is actually working. I don't know what's going on here. What about this tank? It still has water in it. Okay. Yeah, everything seems to be working. It's just not that strong. The other thing that I suggest that we do is actually add bigger pumps to the top. Instead of using these normal fluid pumps, we'll use the bigger ones. And we'll see if we can increase our speed that way. Uh, because it might be possible. Maybe. But yeah, we're at 31 now. So that's our benchmark. Alright, so now it's time to delete these guys and replace them with better ones. Alright, we're only going to delete the ones on one side. Oh no. They're underneath things. Ah, that's annoying. That's very annoying. However, we can actually push them over the top, which is fine. So, yeah. Okay, they're underneath things here as well, but we can keep, we can delete things and make them work. So, yeah, how do we go about doing this? How do we go about, in fact, only do it on the front one to begin with, and we'll see if it gives us any gain. So, let's go ahead and go to pump. Here we go. We got the fluid pumps. Go ahead and whack it on here, but the other way around. And, oh, no, we actually have to raise it up. Raise it up a little bit. Okay, what have we got on this side? What is this? This is out. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Uh, and then the other side, we need it to be in. And then we're good to go. Okay, there we go. So what is this? This is out as well. Okay, press U. There we go. Put it there. This should be... Oh, it's also out. Hang on, turn it around. There we go. Okay, so this is in. That's good. We now need to send this this way. Okay, and send it into there. And we'll see what happens. Um, we also have to move this out of the way. Because clearly it's in the wrong place. So move it forwards. All the way to the front, paste it there, merge it on, and we'll see what happens. Because honestly, this should help massively, but is it going to? Who knows? Who knows? There we go, good. So, we need to connect these guys on, obviously. We're going to go ahead and connect those guys to there as well, obviously. And now we're going to connect these guys straight back onto this. So they're automatically going to be fully on. Uh, and hopefully that'll be okay. So, we need to beat 30 point... Oh, actually, we'll just go with 31. Let's try and beat 31. Uh, and hopefully it'll work. We've got electricity, we've got the pumps working. Let's see what happens. Alright, now that we've made it to this point in the video, uh, it seemed that you guys actually really liked the Thomas and Friends question. So, uh, what is your favourite episode of Thomas and Friends? I haven't really watched very many of them, so which one would you suggest uh, that I watch? It's kind of interesting to see what your guys' opinions on this are. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. All right, everybody ready? Let's go! Ignore the wheel slip at the beginning, and hopefully everything is fine. Off we go. So, uh, we should have less pressure loss on the front one now, but we don't. Uh, it seems to be doing the exact same thing that it was before. The steam is still getting pumped around, so that's all good. But, um, yeah, it still is losing pressure more than the other ones. In fact... Yeah, the other ones are still losing pressure, but not an awful lot, so it's a bit weird. But anyway, we're up to 27. Let's see if it goes past 27. I mean, past 31, I should say. Uh, and then we'll go from there. I don't know whether it's going to. It looks like it might, though. It's getting very close to 30. There we go. We're at 30. Wow, look, it's at the same place it was at before. It's at exactly the same place. So doing that didn't actually change anything. Alright, doesn't make much sense to me, but there we go. What the? Did I run over a horse? Is that what just happened? I have no idea. But anyway, our speed is like 31. I do think that's probably fast enough for this. So we're probably just going to go with that. With that being said, let's go ahead and take this back. And let's start building the sides onto this thing. It might be quite tricky to make it look nice. Uh, but we're going to attempt to, so let's go ahead and get on with it. With that being said, let's go ahead and actually detach this guy as well. Uh, from here, go ahead and cut it, or copy it, cut it, there we go, and move it away. Let's go ahead and put it back here. Uh, it's probably a good place for it anyway, it's probably where it should have been, but never mind. So we're going to go ahead and bring this down to here, move it backwards, uh, move it upwards one, paste it there, and merge it together. There we go, excellent. With that being said, let's delete these guys, and yeah, that seems all good. With that being said though, in, in the long run, um, there's an issue here. The one at the front is, is not getting what it needs, okay? The one at the front is not getting what it needs. It seems way less powerful than the other ones, uh, and I'm not entirely sure why it would be, because we've got the pump system in, um, hopefully that's the right way around, yeah, in. Uh, that sends it, the water from there, or the steam from there around and into here, uh, and that should work fine. But it doesn't, for some reason. 
If anyone knows the, the case for that, let me know. Alright, so I have read some comments as well talking about how to stop the boilers from actually exploding. Uh, essentially, they talk about actually adding um, some sort of gate onto here so that we can limit how much water actually goes in. Uh, I don't know whether I want to do that though, to be honest. I think I want to leave it as is uh, and hopefully allow this to keep working this way. Uh, what we are going to do is try and make sure that these guys can actually send the, the fluid back. Uh, because that's kind of very important. As well as that, I'm actually going to add another pump in here that can send the fluid from the one piston on the one side to the piston on the other side quicker. I don't know whether that's going to be any good, but that is what we're going to try. Okay, so this is our first attempt using the uh, the new pistons uh, or the new pumps at the front. Let's go ahead and see what actually... Oh god, I can't see a single thing. I can't see a single thing, but here's our speedo right here. Let's see what it gets up to. So we've added the pumps. We seem to be rocketing away. This actually seems way quicker than previously. And uh, pumping from one piston to the other has increased our speed by nothing. Nothing at all. It's exactly the same as it was before. Interesting. Okay, so with that big disappointment right there, we need to now build a body on this thing. So I did say I was going to do this before. However, I didn't end up doing it, so now we're going to do it today. So hopefully this will uh, will end up looking okay. Anyway, we do need to tidy up some of the sides. And essentially, I need to move this bit inwards because at the minute this is all going to be on the outside. Uh, and it's going to make it look a little bit ugly, which is not really something that I want. But uh, let's go ahead and build uh, some big flat surfaces on here first, and then hopefully we can go from there. So straight out of the front, we're going to go like this. And we're going to build this all the way to the back, all the way to around here. Now, unfortunately, stuff like this is going to stick out the side. But I would say that that's probably okay for at least right now. So there we go. We're going to do it all the way up to there. Now, I was thinking maybe I would do it so that it does uh, fold out the sides or something. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure I want to do that. So we're going to have to figure this out. All right. So there we go. We got pretty flat sides. I would say that that's actually pretty ugly, but we're going to go with it for now anyway, because I think we should. With that being said, we're going to delete the top layer and we're going to go ahead and have that bit fold around the top. I know this seems weird because it's not really steam train styled, but uh, it should end up working quite well for what I want. Uh, so there we go. We're going to go ahead and put that piece right here on the top. And hopefully that'll be pretty good. There we go. Excellent. I might have to move these guys up, actually. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's move that bit upwards. We're going to go ahead and put this piece back on here. We're going to move it up only by one. Only by one. But it should be enough. So that's... Oh, maybe we should do... It. Yeah, okay, hang on. Delete this. Oh, yes, all the way to there. We're going to do a four piece instead. Yeah, so this is going to go on here. However, we will actually lower it down a little bit. Yes. Okay, right. So instead of a two, it's going to be a four. Uh, and then it'll be a two. And then we can go around the top. That makes sense. Or we can just go straight into a one. Whoa, this is crazy. Uh, and just do this straight over the top end. I think that will actually work. So maybe that's what we're going to do. Uh, with that being said, we're then going to do these two. We're going to go ahead and grab this guy, put it on here like this, and send it backwards. Yeah, so we're going to cover up all of the pipes and stuff. Uh, purely because I feel like we need to. So that's the reasoning behind that. Anyway, that should be able to go all the way backwards, which indeed it has. Uh, and that looks pretty awesome, actually. So yeah, we got quite a lot going on over here. It's kind of interesting, but there you go. Uh, and everything actually does seem to be uh, okay there. So that's quite nice. With that being said, we now need to actually build in the front end how I want it to be. With that being said, how do I want it to be? I'm not sure. I think we're going to start it off like this, uh, which seems pretty insane. But there you go, we're going to do it. We're then going to jump into some of these, and then we're going to jump into some of these, and hopefully that'll look okay. I think it does, so we're going to go with it. Um, let's build the rest of this in the way that it should be. So we're going to do this uh, like that, all the way down to there. That seems good. We're then going to go ahead and attach this guy on the outside, clearly. Uh, and that seems pretty nice. We're then going to go ahead and go to these guys, which need to be jumped in right there. And then we need to jump on to these guys, which are going to get put in. Uh, kind of like this. There we go. So from here all the way to the front. Uh, in fact, I might leave it just like that. Kind of weird, but I like it. We're going to move it back slightly. That's good. Uh, and now we need to work on the rest of this. So we need a 4x4, four four, which is going to go directly in here like this. We're going to go ahead and drag it downwards like so. I know that's pretty insane, but sure. Uh, and then we need to figure out how to attach this guy, this guy right here, to these guys. I think it's kind of impossible, actually. I don't know how I'm going to do that. 
So what if we do it just like this, actually? What if we just continue this bit being built? Uh, I am going to get rid of that for a second, and we're just going to go ahead and put this back in here, just like so. That seems pretty nice. Uh, and we're going to fill in all of these little sections where it is empty, uh, and hopefully that will actually look pretty cool. I think it will, to be honest. We're then going to go straight down at the front. We're going to have it be very, very flat, uh, and that's going to be weird, but we're going to lose it. We're going to use it. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and switch over to these guys, and we're going to put it right here like so. And we'll build in the rest of this to hopefully fit in. So there, 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 and there, there, and there. There we go, okay. Looks a bit weird, but I kind of like it. We're going to go ahead and fill in the front end like so. And yeah, I think we're going to leave it like that. It's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. Alright, so now we need to figure out how to do the bottom bit. Uh, this is where things get a little bit tricky. So because it looks really ugly and really weird at the moment, uh, this is going to be very hard to do. But we're going to go ahead and build it out so that it looks like it has a bit of a skirt kind of thing on it. There we go, and we're going to do that around the front also, which is going to be done like, well, like that. There you go. Then we're going to grab one of these, and we're going to put it right there. Kind of like, kind of like this, and that seems pretty good, to be honest. I like it. We'll leave it flat on the front. There we go. So that's quite nice. We're then going to build these guys backwards, as we should. Uh, we are going to have to delete a little portion of this uh, real quick, right there. Delete this guy, delete this guy, grab one of these. And put it there. The only problem I've got with this is it's actually going to have to be piped all the way through. So the straight pipe right here has to come all the way through here. But that's fine. So there we go. Alright, good. We did it. We did it. The only problem is, on this side, it's slightly different. It is actually slightly different. Uh, because we need the angled bit to be able to take it that way, if that makes sense. So if I've got this in the right direction, which I haven't, uh, we need to put it in there like this. Uh, that is now the right direction. Very good. We then need the rest of these to be deleted so that they all fit in too. So that's going to have to go there like that. There you go. I think that's connected. Excellent. And then this guy uh, right here actually has to be straight piped through also, which is very, very annoying. But there you go. So that's all through. Excellent. With that being said, we now have to some do something with this area. Uh, I don't know where to put these, but essentially everything needs moving backwards uh, in order for everything else to fit. Uh, and that's kind of strange, but there you go. Anyway, that's going to go there like that. We are going to delete this top section right here, I think. Yep, right there. And we're going to delete it all the way back. We're going to delete this piece. We're going to put in a straight pipe that goes across there. And we're going to continue. So that's going to go there. Excellent. We're then going to go and delete all of these guys up to there. We need some straight pipes on these pieces. However, the way that these guys are going to work, uh, they're actually going to go up the side of the locomotive. I know that might be weird, but they're going to go up to about there. Same with this one. Delete our way through and send it through there, please. Here we go. So that's going to go like this. We're going to go ahead and send this bit upwards. Up towards that. There we go. And then we're going to send that bit outwards. And that should be fine. Yeah. There's quite a lot that we actually have to do with this, uh, which is kind of crazy. But these guys being on the outside, I kind of like it. A bit of variety on the outside uh, makes a lot of sense. It does. Uh, right, we're going to go ahead and delete uh, some other bits here. So we're going to delete that. We're going to get ourselves another straight pipe. Put it right there. Hopefully I am connecting everything together in the right places. If I'm not, I might cry. Okie dokie. So uh, yeah, what we're going to do is grab this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and try and put it on so that it looks nice. Looks like it fits in the right place. Uh, in fact, we're going to go ahead and start deleting things on this side too. So if I can delete this all the way back to there. That hopefully is A-OK. -okay. Uh, then if I can delete most of this back to there, I think that's all right. I don't think we've deleted anything on that side. Uh, I'm going to quickly delete this guy and replace it with one of these. There we go. And that's a problem. I might actually raise that up a bit. Yeah, we can. We can move that out of the way a little bit. That's fine. This needs moving out of the way because it's very much in the open. Um, so yeah, let me move all these pipes inwards a little bit. I'll try and tidy up this side and then we can symmetrically mirror everything and that'll be good. Alright, so there we go. I've uh, I've cleaned up the side a little bit. Uh, obviously, we've still got this valve on the side. I might slightly move this, actually. So we're going to go ahead and cut it, but we're going to go ahead and, like, flip it around. So where was it? It was there. Okay, so we want it to be pretty much the same, but uh, different. So we're going to move this in. We're going to go ahead and put it down one. We're going to paste it right there, and we are going to merge it together. There we go. So the pipes are somewhat in, like, the right place. Uh, it's just a bit annoying. Uh, with that being said, we're actually going to go ahead and delete these guys. Uh, we're going to grab this guy and send it inwards, and then we're going to go up from there. 
Um, and then we're going to go straight down from there. Rather than having something like dangling so far off the side, uh, we'll only have a few pipes around the side. I think that makes that makes some sort of sense. Very good. Uh, with this bit right here, we're going to have to move it. And we're going to have to move this bit too. But I can totally do that. Okie dokie. So now what I want to do is... Oh, I need to clean up this bit too. There's so much of this that needs like modifying slightly. But only like... Only slightly. It's really annoying. So what we might do is actually bring this out to the edge... Uh, and actually put it down here instead of anywhere else. And then we can get rid of this bit as well. We can, in fact, uh, move this bit slightly further backwards and allow it to sort of stay there. Uh, with that being said, it could actually stay here. I am okay with that. Uh, it's just a little bit annoying, you know? It's just a little bit annoying. So we're going to go ahead and try and put these pieces into place. We're going to go ahead and do that right there around the outside. Uh, and honestly, it could actually stay just like that. That is okay. Right, so on both sides, we now need to fix in these guys, because I think it looks cool. We're going to go ahead and fix in that right there. Excellent. We're then going to go this way, and we need to block these off in the places where we think they're going to be. Uh, in fact, it's actually going to have to go there. So that's going to have to be built onto that. Excellent. We're going to build this across to the next bit, and we're going to fill all of that in like that. I think that's okay. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this piece on here like so. Go ahead and build it up to there. And fill... Whoa, what did I just delete? Whew, I deleted some wheels. Alright, we're going to go ahead and fill this bit in like that. And honestly, I think that looks pretty cool. Good. So, actually, with the top bit of this... With the top bit of this, I think we can make this look even cooler. By adding something along the lines of this. And also, uh, this. There you go. So you might think it looks a bit weird. But I think that honestly adds a little bit of detail that we really needed. So we're going to go with that. We're then going to do the same thing on this bit too. However, obviously we need to put these pieces in first. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to delete these guys. Put this bit in. Delete that piece. Whack this right under there where we need it to go. Bam. Just like so. And do the same thing on the other side. However, some of this might need to be moved. I think it does. Alright, so I've somewhat fixed that issue by uh, moving it a little bit higher and then bringing it back down. But honestly, this is okay. So, delete those guys again, go ahead and whack these in, and let's go ahead and see what this looks like being put right there. And then we'll attach these guys together again, as uh, you've seen earlier. There we go. So, it's starting to take some kind of, like, nice shape. I do like this. I like these wheel arches. I think they look awesome. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and do pretty much exactly the same thing right here. So, I need to delete all of this. And hopefully this will look good as well. There we go, right there. Delete these guys. One and two. There you go. Delete that guy right there. Grab this. Put it right here like this. Da -da -da -da. Now we need to go ahead and go across like three or so. One, two, three. Uh, grab one of these. Go ahead and put it back on there like this. Uh, add two points. There you go. And put this piece right here like this. Then we're going to go ahead and fill this bit in from there downwards. And that's fine. Unfortunately, I have managed to only do this on one side. So I now need to do it on the other side too. Okay, so there we go. I've done it on both sides. Oh, unfortunately, this bit hasn't been built in. Okay, let me just go ahead and fix that real quick. That goes there. Go ahead and do this and this. And then attach this guy onto here. Just like that. And then do these guys. One, two, three. And wham! There we go. Now everything's done on both sides. Let's go ahead and spawn it in see what it looks like. Yes, I think this is going to be a, a nice looking locomotive. Uh, we also need to actually add like some sort of attachment to the front. And we need these bits on the front to look better. So how do we do that? Well, I'm thinking we literally just do this with these guys. Go ahead and get a bunch of these. Go ahead and build it across. Uh, same on this side. And yeah, we're going to mirror it. So, so that it all gets built in properly. With that being said, we now need to attach these guys on there also. So do this. And then we need to attach the rest of it somehow as well. Now, I'm not entirely sure how to fit any anything else into here. But um, <laughs> there must be a way. There must be a way. So I, I think I can do this uh, and somewhat get away with that. That's okay. We're then going to go ahead and put these guys on. And we can probably get away with that too. With that being said, let's go ahead and paint around the edges. There we go. All the way around there. All the way around here. All the way to the end of there. And delete that guy. We're then going to continue back across here. Paint in this bit. Paint in the whole underside of there. And all the way around these bits. I think this is going to look sick if we do this. So I'm going to continue to paint, and then I'll be back with you guys once I've finished painting. Uh, and then you guys can tell me what you think. Um, we're not going to leave the entire train white, by the way. The, the locomotive is not going to be white. But um, we'll have to figure out what, it, what color it is going to be uh, in the end. Because I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure. 
I think it could be frantic red, but I might go with a blue instead, because that might fit it more, but who knows. Anyway, paint this bit all the way up the edge, all the way up to the top, and all the way out of the top. Here we go. This bit might get deleted a little bit and moved and uh, made bigger, but we'll see. So for now, it is quite a long streamlined design, kind of. Uh, this bit in the middle looks a little bit weird, but it'll be okay. Um, yeah, I like it. I like what we've got here. Let's go ahead and get it moving and see what it looks like moving. Uh, with that being said, actually, let's get a seat first. Because I haven't been using a seat this entire time. I feel like it's now time for a seat. So we're going to put this uh, on the side of here. One and two. And we're going to get our seat and put it there. Here we go. I get straight on the top. I don't know which way this will be facing. There we go. I think that's facing forwards. All right. Now we sit at the back. We get it moving forwards. And let's see what happens. I might have broken some pipes. That's all. So we'll have to figure that out. But anyway. All of them seem to be working as for right now, so that's good. And then we'll figure it out once we're moving, if everything else is working. Alright, here it comes. What do you guys think of that? As the uh, as the front end of it, what do you guys think? We're obviously going to add some like different uh, variations of this in terms of like things that poke out the sides. We need the smokestack built in at the front. I think that'll be pretty awesome. Uh, but I actually like the bluntness of the front of this. I think it looks pretty sick. So, yeah, I think we're honestly going to leave it pretty much like this for now. Um, then we're going to build the cab on the back, and we'll see what happens there. And hopefully all will go well. I do think this looks a little bit weird here, though. These seem like they're sticking out too far, but we'll see what happens there. We might have to change that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.